Did you know that an ordinary bulb only converts about 10% of the energy it uses into light, while the rest is wasted as heat? The power of a bulb was traditionally measured in watts. These days, though, we have a more useful measurement, lumens, or LM. Lumens are a measure of how much light a bulb emits and are really useful when comparing lighting options. The halogen bulb was developed as an energy-efficient alternative to the incandescent light bulb. Halogen bulbs contain a small amount of halogen gas, which makes their light brighter. There are many different types of halogen bulbs available, and they provide a bright light, making them excellent for lamps. As technology has evolved, more energy-efficient alternatives have been developed. Light-emitting diodes, or LEDs, are small lights LEDs do not generate heat, meaning they're safer than halogen bulbs. LEDs also don't contain any substances that could damage the environment, such as lead or mercury. When buying light bulbs, another way to compare them is to look at the colour temperature, which is measured in kelvins. This can vary from a cosy warm light of around 2,700 kelvins to cold white light of around 4,000 kelvins, which is ideal for desk lamps. Another helpful way of comparing bulbs is by looking at the colour rendering scale, which is measured in RA. The higher the RA, the more accurately the colours of a room will be reproduced. Harled bulbs have the same colour temperature and colour rendering as halogen bulbs, but have a lower energy consumption. The energy consumption of a Harled bulb is no more than 7 watts, and with that it can produce a light output of 300 lumens. This is equivalent to a 50 watt halogen bulb. This means that Harled bulbs use less power, but produce just as much light. At the same time as you're protecting the environment and cutting your energy consumption, you're also getting great lighting with accurate colour rendering. Each day in Europe, we use 3.6 billion incandescent light bulbs. If half of these were replaced with LEDs, we could cut carbon dioxide emissions by 23 million tonnes, equivalent to 27 coal-fired power stations. They must not be thrown away with ordinary household rubbish, though. Take them to your local recycling site instead.